What's good, YouTube? We're back with another bang of the day. Hey, man, it's going to be a good one, man. I'm just, I'm feeling the energy from this one. I ain't going to lie to you. We got six black men versus one secret white guy. Uh, I don't think we figure out the white guy. I think they try to figure it out because I think we're going to be able to see. But uh, if not, we're going to figure out who it is. It says we brought together seven black men. Um, I, I, you know, one of them is a white guy, obviously. So without any further ado, man, we're going to jump right into it. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going we to figure out who the white dude is. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm white. What are those white? Okay, for sure. Now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any <laughs> other like Africans or anybody with like any like Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally like a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to He's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, anyone else? That's it. Nope. Yeah, everybody just yeah, I got nicknames. Like, well, Rosebud is actually my street, my, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me by. They do Fitzy? Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just, just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said fits, I thought because you had tough fits on, you know what I mean? No, that's like, that too, that too. You can't even see him, what you talking about, that, bro? That too. Uh, I mean, if bro. you. He glazing with the blindfold on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. A little too much bromance going on here, dude. White boy right here, though, he's not even saying nothing. He just standing there. He got his hands in his <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to say. Fitzy, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on you. That wasn't even that's funny. Cool. Can we all say what we're wearing and everything? <laughs> I got a uh, skeleton all red. Varsity jacket, cargo Bro, pants on the crazy. side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces Damn, on. Why are they all wearing so much red, bro? There's like four dudes here that got on red. Oh, you crazy. You I wish I could dap you up right now. I wish I could dap you up right now. Wait, what type forces y'all got on? What so I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You right. Oh, I see where you're going. <laughs> you with that. said I didn't. You said half black, half oh, white. Black, half white, you feel me? No cap. I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head? It stink, it stink <laughs> real bad. What are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Glenn. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and... <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, he killing it. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think they gotta figure out a tip. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. To be honest, I don't even know how he knows that. That is insane, bro. He did, hey, he definitely did some research before he came in. I ain't gonna lie. His vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black, you know? Too black? <laughs> Yeah, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's side, and then I grew up on Motown from my dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my Nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop-up and Nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. <laughs> Telling them, sit your ass down, you know. <laughs> Everyone has one person that's see. suspicious of them. <laughs> So we know where, basically. Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. Okay, I okay, like that. <laughs> Me growing up half black, half white, oh. there's certain songs that they sang that I honestly didn't know word by word what to what to say. In the movie ATL. Bro, it's just so funny the way he posted up, man. You look at everybody else. Shad was running his daddy's house since what age? Ain't nobody know. It's a famous line, y'all. I got another. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. <laughs> complete this song. Uh, Dad boy got. Stretch, stretch pants. pants. <laughs> Boy, <that's laughs> stretch pants. <laughs> what is that? I got one, I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook yeah. it real good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and your mama whipping it up. Mm -hmm. okay. food okay. is snacking. I was listening so intently on, on voices, because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? You can tell it's a black person on the other side, so you throw out little hints, you know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. Call and response. Won't he do it? 
Yes, Bonnie he will. will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. You mean purple? Oh! <laughs> he get out. He out of here, bro. He's out of here. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. <laughs> that's low sauce right there. You say gray. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by we don't go by that, what you just said. Wait, wait, but hold up. Why is that it's crazy? Because gray. Rosebud, you finna get nipped. Unfortunately, a bar. Exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from, we go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool-Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. He was trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool-Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors, say stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, in the summers, it was either if you outside. Or inside, you had to pick, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't no running in and running up, and, up and inside your house, you know. So y'all, y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let that good air out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to black women from the '90s, who do you think of off of it? Be along. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Yeah, Damn. Oh. I'm gonna say uh 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 uh. Ah, shit, what's her name? Or is she from 2000s? Ra she was a rapper. Um, Never mind. Wow. Our what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett, or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. <laughs> you taking forever. Goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shadi from like Black Panther. Who is the queen? You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know Angela her. Bassett. Oh, Angela Bassett. Bassett. Oh, there we go. go. There we go. Well, I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up, watching my sisters Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from that runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyra's from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Rosebud, you out here. He's gone. Damn. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> My homeboy was matching with is gone now, bro. When it comes to being black men, Microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Man, I'd be chilling in the oh, corner. Man. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the, for the dang for the diversity. Like, for, for, for the diversity, right? I'm like, uh, they only 5%. I gotta give them credit though. Yeah, that's true. Like, finding us is gonna be a little bit tough, but like, they, they found a way regardless. I ain't ever gonna lie, Loke. I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far, like college and stuff like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some <laughs> racist thing. Yeah. Like, not like, you're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a grown man. A black guy. Game. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game. You walk down the street, right? And a white folks see you. The first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips. Like, and nod their head down, mm -hmm. make that weird face, you know what I mean? Or they give you space on the sidewalk. Or you... All right, bro, I'll tell you what, bro. Sometimes when you're walking down the street, though, and you see somebody, and it's just, like, awkward because y'all are both walking, y'all don't know each other, a lot of times you just, you know what I'm saying, you give them one of those, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't going to dap them up. They don't know you like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they were fine with that, I'd be dapping everybody up. But sometimes, I don't really be doing it. I'd just be saying it was good, but... Bro, I understand why people be doing it because sometimes it's awkward. Like, you ever been in an elevator? You don't even know the person, bro? A lot of times you whip out the phone, bro. Straight weather app. You can't tell me. I'm lying. Weather app, you just be scrolling, doing a whole lot of nothing. You check your text messages for the 10th time in the last 30 seconds. Bro, it's just, you know what I'm saying? People don't want to talk whenever y'all don't know each other. Because it's, it, what are you going to ask? Oh, man. How about that weather? Am I right? No, hell no. Step in the street, yo. Or clutch they bag, clutch the purse, microaggression, clutch the bag, or take the next elevator. Yes, mm -hmm. all of that, all of that. Hella room in the You're elevator. Killing it, bro. Stare at you like you ain't supposed to be here. Okay. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like Loving Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Dude. So you already <laughs> know. Like I am my brother's keeper, and that's some real shit. So I tell you what, man. I watched the uh, the first Power Rangers movie like twice a day for like the first four years after it came out, man. 
Power Rangers. Yeah, Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, oh Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Oh, Morphin. Exactly. Hard is hard. It is. I watch. I watch anime too. Like, oh wait, oh, you yeah. watch anime? Uh, I do. What you, do. what you like? What you like? I can Dragon Ball Z for shows a gateway. Oh, y'all, Naruto. Come on, like. Don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, uh, uh, no, no, them was good. Hey, hey. Watch let shine, you know let's mean? watch a Disney Channel. Boy, y'all know about that. He's the only one that got that thing all the way over his nose, bro. He can't even breathe for real. I think he's doing it because it makes his voice deeper. That could be game. Oh, I was literally shot. just about to say. Nah, I'm saying superhero, yeah. static, static shot. Woohoo! I met his voice actor, bro. He was, you that, did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black, every single yeah. black, every. And thing. Samurai Jack. He's Man, black. He's got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. All right, I got a question because I feel like we just gonna be be like we gonna be vibing, man. Too yeah. much, yeah. Right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Yeah, nah. you be like. But, uh, okay. So, hmm. Why does that bother you? It, <laughs> 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 you didn't even have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was he he always used to throw hints like, hey, man. You know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I knew like the his upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism and stuff. So he kind of had like a hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members like say, hey, like. I mean, my mother was from Shreveport. So, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already like in her late 50s. So okay. she wasn't playing with none of that really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love. But at the same time, I think there's always that underlying like, you know, we would love for it to be a black woman, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was actually the same for me. They never said, don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that, but I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister, for sure. Like, oh shoot, like you're, you're with somebody who understands you, right. who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis, from the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever too, but like, I appreciate a sister, like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. All right, who they vote now? We have a tie between Rob and Brevin. Bro, Jay is killing it. Y'all hit that sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Like I said, um, I didn't have a traditional like upbringing as far as like dating um, a lot of different people because I am a queer black man. But it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah. Um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, y'all, I'm black. <laughs> My name is Robert, I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA, oh, we bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much school, and that's pretty much it. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged, and I relate more to struggle, hearing some of the things he was saying. It kind of like made me think and like second guess. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. I appreciate the try, bro. It looks like we are tied again. Wow. wow. Damn! I voted Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I. I'm just gonna say that like the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that like, you know, that's just a case where he could like relate to a lot of like black people's struggles, you feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, but he might not be like black. Hey, maybe he actually did grow up like that, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we gonna figure out what. And of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central, for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So, I'ma say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a fact, Rob Black. He yeah. sound like people from around my way. Bro, they gonna so go be surprised, no bro. No to you, Brendan. But, but you gotta kick <laughs> rocks. <laughs> I, I hear it in Brevin's voice sure. too, though. Like, that's the thing. Atlanta? I hear it in both. Yeah, but, I hear it, yeah. for sure. But Rob, like, I feel like both. I can say certain things to Rob and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you gonna really relate or? Yeah. yeah. 
You know, I no think that but... what does hit and lick mean? What <laughs> <have you> said <laughs> when I started falling? They gonna play that when he win, bro. Fall the vote. Yeah, they vote. Yup, turned them, turned them. <laughs> Imagine that another time, bro. It's tough. Goodbye, Brevin. That means Rob out next, though. Take me away. Yeah, Rob sound like he know good catfish. I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay. It's all good. Man, I think I the mole is still enough. in the box and you want to continue playing the game. Raise your hand. No, stop. What are you doing? 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 I knew I wasn't going to get eliminated. Um, Why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was going to win. <laughs> said I was going to win. So. Anybody else got a question? Rob a G, right, bro. So let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black people in, you know, our community uh -oh. and stuff like that. Since uh -oh. the beginning of the U.S. Um, with the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. And more so recently, the information has been normalized to be pushed out, and this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information, with all that stuff, so we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people. And I think that's dope. But I also think that people need to really be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the U.S., it never stays within the black community. I need to get my homeboy to react to one of these with me. That'd be good. I'm finna do that. Yeah. The game banger. Yeah. That yeah, gotta elaborate. stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in game banger no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you game banger. Uh, and then it got so bad where, you, you know, everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I, if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I got to go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. Mm, I feel that. Mm. So it's just, it's, that's, that's the first thing got to go. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. Like, I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, you know? I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against like the school or anything that people is around, but I feel like the ideas and, uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around from his, uh, you know, early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open-minded to new possibilities. Opportunities are out there. We just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of like the media, but I think sometimes we over-sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something, like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like the way we talk about, like the way we talk about things. Like, I think that there's just so much more to the black yeah. community than that. I want to sure. see black people doing goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Yes. Come on, now talk about it. Or, or criminals, or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're gangsters, yeah. or killers. No, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America, but like you go to China, you go to like some of these other places, like that's there all they go. see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Word. Y'all, I'm gonna be real. Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Same. Damn, they voted him off. Uh, oh! Sorry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what the fuck? Come on. Bro, how do you do that? I thought I thought uh, Rob was gonna get voted off. Damn, he clutched. He clutched, bro. If you think the mole is still in the box and you like to continue the game, raise your hand. He clutched. That product shit killed him. All right. So that's unanimous. We're gonna end the game right then and there, okay? Gazer. If the lights turn green, green, that means you voted the mole out. How are they gonna see what color win. it is? If though? the lights turn red, 
That means the mole is still in you the box. You blindfolded. And you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one? Three, two, one. It is red. Ah! That means the what? mole is still here. Sure. You guys can lift your blindfolds in three, <laughs> two, one. What? Just hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Rob. That's Rob. That's Rob. Yeah. That's Rob. Yeah. I'm Brevin. Brevin? Yo, what's up? Brevin. Yeah. Yeah. Like that? What? I like how... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they are definitely. Yo, yo, yo. Big ups to you. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob. Like, that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they call me Milk. I'm from South Central. Uh, I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out, out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her every since seven days old. That's crazy. <laughs> My whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until I was like. Hey, nice. milk's a hard day, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, okay, this shit, this shit makes sense now. Grown, grown. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every, birthday, but I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was, it's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or is it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, yeah. juvenile yeah. hall, every yeah. party. Yeah. Everything. And your whole family, like, they just all accept you because I got sides of my white family that like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, they sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost a um, lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel like you can't relate to anybody. Damn, I was like bro. the baby, Loki, like the youngest one. Bro, these dudes got some demons they fighting, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wow. Damn! Oh, Big bad. What is a misconception people have about black men? How much is it in a box that basically states that we're all right, man? Anyways, that's gonna be the, the video for today, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. We at 152. Oh my goodness. Anywho, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, without any further ado, man, that's gonna be it. As always, man, I hope you have a blessed day. I'll catch you on the next one.